imagine a place where the fires from the depths within the earth escape skyward and the flames of time continue to glow. It is a place where a complex set of living and thriving traditions flow into one another. This is Guatemala, a country that lies between two oceans east and west and divides a continent north and south. Welcome to Guatemala City, a metropolis looking to the future from roots deeply anchored in the past. The municipal government has started a project to restore the center city's oldest neighborhoods, now sprinkled with futuristic buildings amongst omnipresent signs of traditional architecture. It is a city that owes its wealth to the cultural mosaic that has formed it. Lake Atitan's calming deep blue waters fill the ancient crater of a long dormant volcano. In the lakeside village of Santiago Atitlan, we find a strange smoker who represents a deity that, according to legend, will make his followers' wishes come true in exchange for gifts of liquor and tobacco. Guatemala's 33 volcanoes are guardians of the country's ancestral civilizations. They protect one of the planet's most active oxygen-producing botanical lungs. The Paten Department's Mayan biosphere is a natural reserve with an area of 2 million hectares. It hosts 14 tropical ecosystems and is the home for more than 100 exotic and rare animal species. The best time to visit Guatemala is between November and April. This avoids the rainy weather. Under the green canopy of the tropical forest, visitors discover a world governed by mysterious laws where nature imposes its rule. After the decline of the Mayan Empire, the jungle reclaimed ownership of Tikal City, invading its ruins. Now, more than 4,000 structures such as stelas, altars, and masks remain. Time has moved on now, and the country and its inhabitants enjoy peace and prosperity. Previous warnings to the traveler regarding security issues are no longer relevant. They are part of the past. Well, we have been traveling all over Guatemala, and as far as now, we feel perfectly safe and really don't believe what is written as far as now in the guidebooks we have read before. Visitors can now safely enjoy the pleasures of one of the few places UNESCO has named as part of humanity's cultural and natural patrimony. Today is Sunday. The village of Chichi Castanango celebrates its weekly market day where contact with the traditional past remains very much alive thanks to symbols like the women's huipiles, featuring embroidered designs that reflect an ancestral heritage. When your huipil has its story, all the designs have a significance. Every family has its own colors because they feel que cada familia y apellido, ¿verdad?, es muy importante para, para cada uno de ellos. Entonces, esto ha venido de generación en generación. The Spanish conquistadores landed in America 500 years ago. Yet even today, 21 of the 24 ethnic groups are still of Mayan origin. To really discover the Maya, you must refer to one of the 22 languages still spoken today. Welcome to Antigua, surely one of the most beautiful sites in Central America. This colonial city is nestled between volcanoes that still show frequent signs of life. Until 1776, it was the country's main urban center. A strong earthquake, one in a series of shakes, forced authorities to move the capital to present-day Guatemala City. Traces of the past are found in each and every corner in Antigua and its numerous churches and monasteries. 
most of Antigua's architecture is distinctly Baroque. A writer once confessed to a distinctly sinful feeling when visiting the city. In some places, the sacred has become secular. Like this hotel, once a monastery where travelers now lodge comfortably in what were formerly the monks' cells. This monastic environment in volcanic surroundings provides unceasing bewilderment to resident and traveler alike. Panajachel on Lake Atitlan's pristine shores offers visitors a place to be as one with nature. Following the Motagua River towards the Atlantic coast, we discover other peaceful and picturesque places like Rio Dulce. On the coast at the river's mouth is Livingston, whose principal inhabitants are part of the Garifuna culture, descendants of slaves who escaped from the island of San Vicente. Life here moves at a relaxed pace as the people live their lives to the pace of the local dance, La Punta. Guatemala is a country where two philosophies mix, a peaceful and simple life, very conscious of its rich past. It is a land full of vivid colors gracing a profound and unexpected beauty.